I didn't want to leave the car today. The weather is absolutely terrible. Well, not this minute, but for the last few days, it has been raining, windy and super cold. When I came here a couple of days ago, it was up to 22 degrees. We had great weather and then two days later, just turned shit. I had to change location. Uh, my car used to be parked way over there in the corner. Now I have my own little space here. The problem with this particular spot is that it's beneath some very tall pine trees here. So when it gets really windy, branches can come off and fall down and crash into the car and potentially cause some damage. I haven't had that happen to me yet, but I've heard some stories, so I don't want that to happen to me. But I couldn't be in that corner over there because it was a little bit too filthy uh, for my cat to be running around in. You had so many tourist people walking right by that area that went into the bushes and peed and shit. You could find toilet paper after people, you know, just within a couple of meters from the car. So I didn't want my cat to be running around in that. But this is a good spot. I have an amazing view uh, from my living room. I can see the artificial lake over here. And also I have a couple of lovely neighbors here. They are from the Netherlands. See what a beautiful spot I have. Last night we had the awning out and we were sitting there, a bunch of people just enjoying the view, enjoying this fantastic campground. A couple of more friends have joined up. They are over in that corner over there. There's a little bit of magic to this campground, you know. People, they, they get to know each other immediately. Do you see how lovely that is? This is an artificial lake and the island out in the lake, you can't go there unless you rent a boat or something. And over there is the village which we are going to. There's a path for walking and biking that runs all the way to the village. Here you can see exactly what I was talking about. So these are like small twigs, but they can be bigger. They can absolutely be bigger and they can, they can potentially cause a lot of damage to the car. <laughs> also, here's another interesting little thing. Do you see how the car is like covered in yellow dust? That's actually pollen from the pine trees. So I just learned that this thing, if you leave that on the tree, that is what becomes a yellow blob of some sort and it releases all the pollen into the air. So last night we were sitting here and, and it was like dust storms in the, in the air covering the entire line of sight with yellow dust, but that's actually pollen. And you can see how it is covering the car. That's a lot of pollen, see that? And, we, and when you keep the car door open, it comes inside too. So it kind of covers the laptop and everything. I'm live. I thought oh, so. 12,000 people are watching. Uh -oh. How many? 12,000. 12,000. All over the world. Well, this wow. is the most famous I'm going to get, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Uh, are you cooking food? What's no. going on? I'm washing my hands. You got me at a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But uh, you were right. The sun's coming through. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Oh, look, you have a lovely carpet here, too. It was a little bit cold uh, at our feet, so... Uh, we stole your idea with the carpet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were like, oh, we can do that, too. <laughs> These ladies are from uh, Holland, Netherlands, or yeah, whatever you want to call it. Le Pays-Bas in French. Huh? Le Pays-Bas in French. Le Pays-Bas. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Like that, <laughs> also same. <laughs> the day has finally arrived where we will go up to the village and do some vlogging. But first, we need to take out the trashes and also go and exercise a little bit. So, that's great. See how much dogs are ruining my life all the time? Now they're going to ruin the video, the audio of the video. Bonjour. There you go. Unleash dogs, why not? This is one of my accessories. Just a flat carpet, yoga mat, or whatever this is called. I'm just gonna remove my stuff. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. You live in the area? For, for the time being, uh, for around two or three months. It's more like now I'm um, taking a break from work. No, I feel yeah. I, I, I took a break from work and I've been going now for many years. <laughs> yeah, cannot go back to a full-time job again, I think. It's uh, so detrimental to, to mental health, at least for me. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah. Okay, I got a little bit busy there with a person. We started to chat a little bit. He was a freedom seeker, not really good with work like myself. <laughs> Basically, with a yoga mat, now this is obviously not some, uh, I'm not an expert in any of this. 
I just do random stuff on a yoga mat like this. I believe this is called the flying dog. You kind of lean forward like that. And then you go up. Oh, nice. A really good one. Yes. So obviously a mat can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Even exercising like push-ups. My favorite tool is Olympic rings. These, you can put them up, attach it to any kind of bar, anywhere really. It can even be the branch of a tree. And with the rings, all of a sudden, you have access to a complete gym. There's basically nothing you cannot do with these rings. There's not a single person in sight. Not a single person. I don't believe it, to be honest. This is supposed to be shitty weather, they call it. Yay, we made it. <laughs> that was a good exercise. Do you see how blue the sky is? I'm thinking it is probably over 20 degrees. It is really warm, really warm. And today's date, today is right at the start of April. Basically, in the middle of the winter, in February, you can still get as much as 25 degrees Celsius here. Most of the days, however, I believe, don't quote me, during the winter is going to be, you know, lots of clouds, a little bit of rain now and then. Simply put it, not gorgeous weather. But also, the weather here in the winter is not really that bad. It's, it's okay, actually. Baldkin! Där är han! Oj! Hey, Batskin! They have started to clean up the algae from the lake. And this is the machine they use. I believe it actually connects with the bottom of the lake. So it can, it's not really a boat. And they drive this on the lake and scoop up all the algae. What they do then with the algae, I have no idea. But it was pretty fun to watch this machine at work. This is the path we will walk and it leads all the way to the village. Can you believe how beautiful this is at night when they turn all the lights on and you and you can come here and, and sit and have a meal and a drink or two? This is like Bahamas, but in France, in mainland Europe. Kind of hard to believe actually. I used to be a software developer, very obsessed with it, meaning I was in front of my computer all day, every day. And as a software developer, what you do most of the time is not so much creative work, but actually solving problems. Progress is when you go from one error message and you get a different error message. Then you call that progress. It's basically problem solving. Over so many years doing that shit, it takes a toll on you. It really does. I don't think I will ever work again full time. Software development, I might pick that up a month or two here and there to bring in some new cash, but that's it. Now, I wanna focus on just living life. In the vicinity of the center, you find a lot of places like this. Super cool houses that are mixed in with the surrounding forest. Can you believe how beautiful this is? And to believe that all of this is dead, like no one is here right now. One inhabitant over in that corner, but all the other apartments here are just shut down, closed, no one here. People only come out to places like this once a year during the summer. And for the rest of the year, they obviously do not live in paradise. They're stuck inside a big city like Paris or whatever. They go to office every day, they work every day, they suffer every day. I cannot stop recommending coming to places like this in the winter because that's when there's no people around here at all. It is also a little bit of a weird feeling, you know, a good weird feeling. When you go here in the middle of the winter and there's no people at all, I don't know, I like it. I like it. I like to be alone. And when I'm walking in a beautiful place like this and I am truly alone, I love it. It, feels, it makes me feel so alive. I believe this is a retirement home. This is probably the best retirement home you can live in, in this corner of the world at least. 
when I get old, you'll find me in here. I have no other plans yet. When I'm out on my travels, I try to search for places uh, where I can return during different circumstances. What if I uh, accidentally make someone pregnant, right? Where do I want to raise my kids? What happens when I'm 90 years old? Where do I want to be? Yeah, so far, I have an answer to the last question. And that's this place right here. I have a little bit more to go though before that happens. Look at this place. It's, it's fucking amazing. Gosh, I had to take a break. Holding the camera with this arm all the time and walking is actually quite quite a strain. <laughs> and it's getting really hot here now too. Ooh. As you can see, this place is gorgeous, but there's lots of gorgeous places in France. I believe, and this is my personal opinion of course, most of France is like this. Well, not perhaps like this place, but there's no place in France that I have discovered so far that is outright obnoxious or unattractive. But I hope to discover a lot of new places in other countries. I know already in south of Portugal you have some really stunningly beautiful places and we are going to go there for sure. Something that's quite fucked up actually, this is like paradise on earth, right? This whole place here in the back, it's actually abandoned, which just gave me an idea. I haven't been in there because I don't know an easy method to get inside. But I'm actually going to pop up my drone now and see if we can go inside with a drone and see what's going on. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. It's a little bit windy outside. Let's go up a little bit so we can get a clean shot from the air. It's very windy outside. Yeah, you can clearly see that whole place in the middle. It's completely abandoned. Let's uh, turn around a little bit and see, look at the area. So over there on the other side is the campground. And we just walked towards the left here. We circled around there and then we came here on this side. We walked over here. This is the city center actually. That's pretty much all there is to it. You have a couple of restaurants here down at the bottom to your left. And of course you have a lot of houses to explore. The houses here are amazing. You even have houses stretching all the way out to the beach over there. So much abandoned stuff in the middle of paradise. It's weird. Look at it. Let's go down a little bit. This is about as, as low as I want to go before I crash into a building. Only 17 meters up. There's an open door there, do you see that? I can't, I can't stop wondering why did I not sell this stuff or do something with it? The location is absolutely superb. But all of this crap is just abandoned. Let's zoom in a little bit. Wow, there's a staircase leading up into that building. Is this a swimming pool? I mean, did it used to be a swimming pool? Yeah, I think so. And now it's just loaded with crap. Ugly brown water. Well, if I was homeless and I didn't have a car, I would definitely settle in here somewhere. 
just squat one of these buildings here. Is this also abandoned? Yeah, looks like it. Let's go to the village on foot. See, here's where I am, not far away. Landing. They're building something here. I have no idea what they are building. Give it just a couple of weeks, a month, and this whole place will be packed with people. There's some more restaurants and bars and stuff over here. They actually have a cinema here. The sign says this summer, so I think this is uh, probably only open during the summer. Let's see if we can get in here. <laughs> but it's not open now. This is one of two supermarkets here. It's, it's a really tiny one, I, I never go there. And they also, have <laughs> they also have their little police department here. I don't think the police here have much to do. If you ever need the police, in here is where you might find them. But something tells me that if we, if we were to knock on this door, nobody would be home. Oh look, they just put up this uh, big uh, thing over here. I don't know what you call this thing. A circular object where you have kids flying around. That didn't used to be there. And now we're approaching one square. One square out of like two squares they have here. Some days this is going to be packed with a market where you have different vendors selling fruits and vegetables, that kind of stuff. Lots of cheeses, of course. I love these trees. Aren't they amazing? So big, it's incredible. <laughs> Actually, this was not a friendly tree to be hugging because it has so many hard bumps in it. Not a hug friendly tree. I don't know. Do we want to go inside? I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Three minutes tops. Question is, what can you find inside a tourist shop in Viewbokau? Let's go and check it out. Thermometers, good to have, I suppose. Bonjour. Can I film you a little bit? What? Yes. No. No? No. Okay. Can I film the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you own this place, right? No. 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 Yeah. So you are just an employee. Yeah. So where do you go during the winter? The winter. Yeah. I try to travel around the world. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. How 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 much longer do you think before there's actually people here? Uh, I think until June maybe. Okay. And then during the winter. Yeah. You don't work, right? I try to grow because yeah. France is very difficult. Yeah. In yeah. the west south of France, mm. there is not a lot of things to work. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's when you travel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have to choose. Uh, you, you save up in the summer and then you go traveling in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Nice, 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 nice. Are these bottles li liquor to drink? Yeah. What is the taste like? Uh, I think it's like red fruits. Okay. A green fruits, red fruits, and yellow fruits. No, I don't, I don't know. I <laughs> no. don't know the yellow one. <laughs> okay. This is also alcohol. Hmm. Interesting. Do you sell a lot of these magnets? Yes, a lot. Where do people put the magnets? On the fridge? Back home? What's up with the frogs? Do you like frogs in this area? Is that it? <laughs> you, have a, you have a lot of frogs. I hate frogs. You do? Yeah. You have a lot of places like this uh, all over this coastline actually where you can rent bikes. A wine shop. I have to look at this place. What a cozy little place this is. Super cozy. Right in the street corner. I bet they have a lot of expensive stuff in here. I'm always in the lookout for flavored gins. 
flavored stuff anyways is my favorite. Flavored vodka, flavored gin. I really don't drink anything else to be honest. Ciao. We're pretty much re reached the end of this street. All that's left here to see is a church. <laughs> Are you surprised? They have churches all over this country. Church with a camera because apparently God does not see everything, right? You have to augment God with a little bit of cameras. My voice is really echoing in here. This was a boring church. All churches are boring, by the way. But you can find some beautiful paintings sometimes. Lots of big doors and artwork. If I used any profanity inside this church, out loud or in my thoughts, please forgive me, dear statutes. Yeah, we're cool. Uh, voila! This is like square number two of two squares in this little village. In this little supermarket, I actually find vegan options. One of which is uh, frozen Beyond Meat patties. <laughs> they don't have any one left, I bought them all. That was my little tour of Vubukau. There's so much more we could go and explore, to be honest. So, so much more. I'm so not feeling energetic today. Gosh, I'm totally trashed up, to be honest. They have a little small cute pharmacy. And now we're heading back to the car. I love this boardwalk. I love this place. I mean, just look at this. It's so peaceful. <laughs>